Farmer Joe from Green Our Planet, and I just spent the morning in this garden looking for insects. I'm having a hard time finding them. Some of them are very difficult to see. And this one's still difficult to see. Maybe my magnifying glass is dirty. I'm still having a hard time finding these insects. I thought this one was a stick, but it's a praying mantis. Have you ever seen one of those? So I have a question for you. Why are some insects so difficult to see? Would you like to find out? Grab your science notebook and come with me. Imagine you're an insect out in the garden. Say you're a ladybug, or a butterfly, or even an aphid. What do you think your biggest problem is? Did you say finding food? Well, sure, that's pretty important. But what other problems do you have to worry about? Did you say getting eaten? You're right. You have to watch out. There's other animals such as birds and spiders and mice that might eat you. In fact, did you know there are two kinds of animals? Predators and prey. Do you know what a predator is? That's an animal that eats other animals. Do you know what a prey animal is? <laughs> a prey animal is an animal that gets chased and eaten by predators. I have another question for you. If you're an insect, how can you make sure that you're not eaten by a predator? What can you do? You could be on the lookout and be ready to escape, right? You could run, or if you have wings, you can fly. But what else can we do to make sure we don't get eaten? Have you ever heard of the word camouflage? Would you like to see an example? Come on, let me show you. Look over here. I can see you, can you see me? How about now? Can you see me now? Do you know why it's harder to see me now than it was just a few moments ago? <laughs> That's because I'm wearing camouflage suit and camouflage face paint. That makes it easy for me to blend in with the trees and the shrubs. But what is camouflage? Camouflage is a way of hiding something by covering it or coloring it so it blends in with its surroundings. Now suppose I'm in Africa where there's lions everywhere that might want to eat me. Do you think they could see me easily if I was wearing a brightly colored shirt? They sure could. But what if I'm wearing camouflage? 
That would make it more difficult for a lion to see me. Other animals and insects also use camouflage for the same reason, so that they won't get eaten. Having fur or skin that is camouflaged in color is a very useful characteristic to have. Check out this snow hare, for example. It lives on snow and doesn't want to get eaten by lynxes, golden eagles, or other predators. So what does it do? It has white fur so that predators have a hard time seeing it. Its white fur is an adaptation to living on snow. Do you know what an adaptation is? An adaptation is the process by which a living thing changes its characteristics in order to better survive in a particular environment. Giraffes have long necks so that they can reach the leaves they eat high up in the trees. Elephants have long noses so that they easily drink water without having to kneel down. Snow hares have white fur so that the predators can't easily see them. These are all adaptations that help the animals survive. Are there other animals that have similar camouflage adaptations like the snow hare? Sure. Let's take a look at some. Have you ever seen a chameleon lizard? Well, they're able to change the color of their skin so that they blend into their environment, making it difficult for predators to see them. Do you see how this chameleon is green and looks like part of a tree? And look at this black panther, which hunts its prey when it's pitch black at night. Do you think its prey can see it sneaking up on it at night? No! So the panther has black fur, which is an adaptation that helps panthers hunt so that other animals can't see them at night. And look at these bird eggs that are in the nest on the ground. There's many predators that would love to eat them. But look at how the eggs are camouflaged so they are difficult to see. Do you remember earlier when I had a hard time seeing that grasshopper? I thought my glasses were dirty, but the reason that grasshopper was hard to see is that grasshoppers use camouflage to hide from birds so birds can't find them and eat them. The grasshopper I saw had green coloring, which is an adaptation that makes it very difficult for it to be seen. So now we know that in order to escape predators, or to be better hunters, animals sometimes have camouflage. But are there other ways that a prey animal can protect itself from being eaten besides camouflage or running or flying away? Did you say Poison? Well, you're right. Some animals use poison or other chemicals to protect them from being eaten. Have you ever seen a monarch butterfly? Well, monarch butterflies feed on milkweeds. And milkweeds contain chemicals that other animals do not like. So birds and other predators avoid them. But how do monarch butterflies let other animals know that they do not taste good? Well, they use colors, such as bright oranges outlined in black. Other animals that have chemicals or poisons do the same thing. They warn potential predators to stay away. Look at these bees, for example. See how brightly colored they are? That's to let other animals know that they have a poison stinger. So bees use colors 
to let animals know that they had better leave them alone and not try to eat them. There are also some poisonous frogs that are brightly colored to let predators know to stay away from them. So now that you know how animals use camouflage and bright colors to protect themselves, what color adaptation do you think an animal should be that goes out at night and either wants to hunt other animals or doesn't want to be eaten? Did you say black? If you did, you're right. If you go out at night wearing black clothes, it will be very difficult for animals to see you. What if you're an animal that lives on snow and ice? What color adaptation would be useful to you? Did you say white? You're correct. Polar bears and snow hares and arctic foxes have white fur, which makes it hard for them to be seen. And if you're an animal that lives in the rainforest, what color adaptation would be most useful for you? Did you say green? You're exactly right. If you're an animal that lives in a forest and goes out to find food during the day, then green is a great color adaptation to have because green will almost allow you to not be seen. You'll be practically invisible. So I have a bit of homework for you. I want you to use your science notebooks to draw an insect that will be protected from predators by its shape or colors. So if you want your insect to survive in a rainforest, what will your insect look like? And if your insect lives in a sandy desert, what kind of colors and shapes will you give it? I'm Farmer Joe from Green Art Planet. Have fun creating your insect. Bye. And remember, the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life on it. Which is why the Earth is the only planet that has such beautiful blues and greens. So let's remember to protect our planet and all the life on it. Bye!